Hey there guys, welcome to episode 28 of my Pokemon Stadium round 1 playthrough. On the last episode we got through um, battles 4 and 5, and we got to battle 6, but we uh, lost in a very close match against a Zapdos, uh, paralyzed Zapdos of that. Uh, we lowered our accuracy, made it, our attacks missed a lot, so that caused us to lose. Uh, so what we're going to try to do it again, um, you know, go through round 6 and see if we can win. So we'll use one of our three continues, and hopefully we get it. Maybe we'll even get our continue back, who knows. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so again we have mostly fly again, mostly flying types and uh, psychic types. Uh, so I'm not gonna out Charizard came out last time and could have nearly decimated Jinx. Uh, so I uh, did use the now Jinx we sent out Nidoqueen, Queen, so we're gonna send out Nidoqueen Queen right off the bat. Um, and only switch out if we get Gengar. Then um, bring in need Jinx for the for Gengar, so we'll have to send that in. And then we'll bring out um, again Raichu because we need to paralyze that thing. Uh, paralyze that does. So yeah, we'll do that. And it's the only one who takes half damage. Aside from drag um, the only one on the team who takes half damage from electricity. Um, and like I thought, he switched he went to Charizard. So we're gonna go for a rock slide since it can't really hurt me. Fire Blast actually does a decent amount of damage, but since I started off with it, we'll actually be able to survive another attack from like Gengar or something. And we got burned, which is not good because we may unless we get a critical we might not be able to take this thing out because of that yeah it didn't do much damage at all bad Pokemon choice my enemies. okay so you know we may, may end up losing uh, it learn <sighs> right that's I forgot Charizard can learn dig um using types usually uh, use earthquake but it makes sense because you can't hit it um, even if you could hit Pokemon with Earthquake, it wouldn't matter because the fine type. So, a Dig is actually going to take us out. And I have no one who to switch into. So, this could go badly again. Um, Jinx is faster than Charizard, I believe. But, yeah. So, the Queen goes out with only take, not even taking out half of Charizard's health. Um, I really, I know it can learn, um, I know obviously you can learn Dig, but I didn't really see that coming. I mean, I, sh I taught my own Earthquake, so I should know I could learn Dig as well. Uh, but yeah, not expecting that. It's for you to go for another Fire Blast or something, because I did that the first time. Alright, so we'll go for Thunder, just because. I know I Raichu's got to be faster than Charizard, yeah. It's definitely faster. So a Stab Thunder should take it out. There we go. Okay, so now it's two on two. Um, I'm guessing Zapdos is in the listing here. Uh, so okay, we've got Gengar first. Um, I'm not gonna switch. If I switch out, I'm gonna have a bit of an issue. But um, Gengar, I don't think is faster than because Raichu is faster than Jinx. So let's see. Okay, it is actually faster than me. So we're just, I could have gone for Thunder Wave if I knew that, but, you know. Alright, I'm actually going to go for Thunder Wave then. It's a bit of a risk, but Raichu might get taken out, and I'd rather Gengar be paradise, par paradise, paralyzed. Excuse me. Um, and then I can actually make a clean, uh, clean switch out to... Not clean, not quite clean. Switch out, but uh, switch out to um, Jinx. Although that might, maybe at this point I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna stay. In, in that case, I'm actually gonna stay in with Raichu. This gives me one chance, and if might get paralyzed. If not, well, it's worth a shot. I mean, I did, I did more than 100 points of damage. So let's see if I get lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. Also lucky that Thunder's even hitting. So I'll go for one more Thunder. All I can do against it anyway, and hopefully it'll hit. So if it does hit, then we've got a better chance against what is likely going to be Zapdos. And it did hit. Okay, so Gengar is down. I have one more Pokemon to deal with, and we still have Jinx in the waiting in the wings, so to speak. Yeah. So what is it? 
go that. Okay, that's... I prefer that much over Zapdos, to be honest. So go straight for Thunder. So I don't know if it may or not be faster. Okay, it isn't faster. Good. We'll go for Thunder and uh, see what happens. There we go. Is that going to take it out? Yes, it is. All right. So we got a good setup here. Um, got that done. We lost our one of our continues, but we actually get this match, so that's fine. So sending in Nato Queen first was seemed like a good idea, but it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. Uh, and with that, we're going to go on to round seven, with two continues left. <sighs> okay, so we've got an electric type, a water type, uh, a no Persian, the annoying normal type, a uh, ground type, a rock and water type, and a grass psychic type. Okay, so... Hmm. Need someone with, we've got water, for water and electricity we'd have um Starmy for that. Uh that to worry about well, actually I don't know that I think Persian has a this Persian might have Thunderbolt or otherwise it just uses slash. So um hmm. Tough choice there. So I think we'll uh go for Wait a minute. Uh, this, this is a tough one. Cause I, I two ground types. We need to have Neo Queen or Arcanine up there at least. Um, uh, Arcanine would be a good choice to take out Electabuzz, Doug Trio, and Executor. Um, and if we had a water type coming out first, so that's the real issue. Actually, I'm going to go with uh, Dragonite because it resists water and grass. Um, and if a person gets electricity, it'll only do normal damage. So we'll start off with Dragonite. Um, then we'll bring out Arcanine to handle the ground types. Uh, the electric and ground type, respectively. Um, but actually, no, that won't... That won't really help much. What, wait, what does Nidal Queen have again? Rock Slide, don't... Double Kick, Earthquake... So that's not going to help, really. I mean, it would be, it'd be immune to it, true, but... I guess it's better off um, than Arcanine is. Arcanine is faster, though, so... It has less special stat, but it's not as it's faster. It's not a choice. Um, okay, so we got Dragonite first off. I think I'm going to go for Raichu just to deal with uh, the two water types and Persian. Um, if I can paralyze that thing. And then... Um, Actually, you know what? Um, no. I'll go for Dragonite, then Jinx. I can deal with Doug Trio, Executor, uh, and the other one. So that'll be good for Jinx. And then the last one, we need a, we need a ground type. Um, I think Arcanine has slightly more coverage, because I can deal with Executor as well as um, Electri Electabuzz, whereas Electabuzz, um, Nidoqueen Queen can't really deal with Executor because of its weakness to both grass and psychic. So we'll put Arcan in the last spot. Um, we still have the user of Thunderbolt and Dragonite, so that'll be good. So I think this could work out. Let's see what happens. Right, and we are in fact facing Persian first. So I'm going to go straight for... Um, Fire Blast, actually, because Fire Blast and Thunder do the same amount of damage, just Fire Blast is more accurate. Um, it's not going to take, um, not to be super effective against either one, so... Okay, it's running a Toxic set. Oh, that's right, Toxic is from, on Vaporeon too, so they're running a Toxic set. Um, okay. So a Toxic and Slash, I guess. So it did under half. So a Toxic and Slash combination. Okay, um, still keep, excuse me, still going with Fire Blast, Screech, oh yeah, Toxic Screech and Slash, okay, that's going to be rough. Hopefully I can survive at least one hit from that. 
Oh, I got burned too. That's good. So we'll get him. So next turn it'll get burnt. Um, I don't know. I'm worried about that screech though. What do you think about that? Neither Dragonite is the most the bulkiest of the group, but the problem is he has his jet drop. Uh, then again, Arcanine is the fastest of the team, so I could actually get a uh, one hit off with it. Um, yeah, no kidding. Uh, let's just I don't know, maybe we'll go for Arcanine is a better defense. We'll go for Arcanine. Then the poison will reset too, so that's another thing. Um, even if it doesn't work out, I can just do a, like a double switch. Um, it'll take damage on the burn anyway. So double team, it'll be pointless right now. So um, I'm actually yeah, I'm actually gonna do a double switch. Um, just so I can, it's gonna get taken out one with the other, and Dragonite's bulkier than Arcanine, so yeah, we'll go for that. Um, actually no, if I used ground type moves and whoever gets sent in the next turn will be attacked so he doesn't have any flying types so I'm gonna go for the, I'm actually gonna go for earthquake just let it attack whoever gets it nest or whoever gets sent out next that's the one thing with dig and fly in this game if you use it after somebody dies um, then the person who comes to nest will be uh, caught by it I'm sure that can backfire but you know. oh wait I'm not even gonna use the move because I'll go second uh, okay never mind then We'll have to find out, obviously. Executor. Okay. This will be fine then. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. And I know this thing is fat. How can I actually faster than Executor? Surprisingly not faster than Persian, but yeah. Critical hit is definitely going to take that out. There you go. Hmm, depending on the next Pokemon, we might actually be able to get our, the continue back that we lost. Who knows? Electabuzz. Well, this thing isn't faster, but, um... It's the only one that knows Dig on my team right now. On my setup right now. Yeah, the only one knows Dig, so... It won't take super effective damage from anything it uses. Unless it somehow... Know, well, actually, no. Can't learn... There's no water punch move or anything like that, so... That'll be fine. And Arcanine... I think Arcanine's faster? No, it's not. Okay. Well, Light Screen won't help it because we're using Dig, which is a uh, attacking move, not a special move. Still, there is the matter of the poison, but it's gonna should build up over time, or didn't build up too much. This dual sc uh, dual screens elect the buzz in Generation One. I never thought I'd see that. And did just under half. Okay, I'm gonna sw I'm gonna switch out just to lessen the amount of poison I'm taking, because um, two members of my team are poison, obviously. So I'm gonna go Arkham um, Jinx, who can handle this pretty well. Might do even more damage than uh, although it's doing less now because of reflect, but yep, knew that was coming. Um, so it's a good thing I didn't switch into Dragonite, who immediately would take normal damage from it, but still. Wait, yeah, okay, Dragon, it was Dragon, good. Uh, I'll go for a Psychic, I guess, because he has Reflect and Light Screen up, so either, either attack I use is going to take less damage, so Psychic automatically does more damage than Ice Punch, so I'll go for Psychic. And we can take a couple more of these hits. No problem. Now we got a Critical, which should break through that Light Screen, and there we go. So, our Pokemon are kind of somewhat weak in two of the poison, but because of that, or in spite of that, we got through this. So, we got an extra continue back. Maybe if we only lost the couple round, uh, last round. Alright, and uh, we're just coming to the 15, still sorry, 15 minute mark, so I'm going to actually cut it off here. So, you know, next episode we'll take out the last part of the Pokemon. Cup, uh, Prime Cup Ultra Ball. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.